Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a fly designed by Giancarlo Doninelli. He has a YouTube tube channel and you should check him out. This is a CDC Dry Nymph. The hook that I have in the vise is a Maruto D31 SSC. This is a size 12. You can tie these down to whatever size you want. 16, 18. Uh, the thread I'm going to use is this is a dark brown and this is a 6 aught thread but it's pretty thin. This is from Hemingway's. Actually it's a light brown it says but it looks dark to me. We're going to put a base of thread down. As always start right behind the eye and take it back to where it goes just past the point of the hook on your barbless hooks. If you have a barbed hook, take it to where it would hang at the barb. We're going to start out with the tail and for the tail I'm going to use deer hair. Don't need a whole lot of this. It's just the tail. Very small amount I'm taking going to put that in my hair stacker quick give it a couple of taps lift up the tube slightly and then take it out of the tube in the direction you're going to tie it on I'm going to tie it on for the tail so the tips are going to have to go back we're going to Keep that tail about half the length of the hook shank. I'm not going to pull real tight because it could spin very easily on me. Make a couple quick wraps to get that towards the front. Dude, that that's what could happen to your tail if you if you wrap it too tight in the back. See if I pull it. That's going to happen. I'm going to trim off the excess. Just pull everything to the top. Trim that off. Now we're going to put in the rib. And Giancarlo uses just a plain strip of plastic. Just your plain strip of a plastic bag. Something like that that you get when you buy materials. I'm going to use a pearl tinsel and this is a number 16 this is very small this is about an eighth or smaller eighth of an inch or smaller and we're going to tie that in and you can tie these to match any uh, nymph or hatch I'm going to make this with Hemingway's deer hair dubbing. Hemingway deer hair dubbing. And my thought process is with this extra deer hair in there, it's dubbed on, it's going to float even more. I'm going to take just a small pinch with the hairs and everything. I'm going to turn this upside down so I can... Uh, dub it easier. I'm going to put a little bit of wax on there. And I have a mixture of the deer hair and the under fur on this. Make as skinny a noodle as you possibly could with this. When you have this big, big of hair hair chops in there. Not easy making a real small noodle or a real skinny noodle. So just go light with it, small amounts at a time. There we go, and all this Hemingways you could get from 
Bearskin Outfitters or FrostyFly.com. BearskinOutfitters.net. We're going to wrap our abdomen. And we only want to come up two thirds of the way. Those wild ones off. Now I'm going to wrap the rib. Take it, making it pretty tight. And tie it off there. You can wrap back on it just to give it a little bit extra added security. Now I'm going to put on the wing post, and the wing post is going to be, once again, a clump of deer hair. Let me take a slightly larger clump this time. And this we don't need to put in our hair stacker. I am going to cut that piece of skin off. Like I said in the last video, this I've had this deer hair so long and elk hair so long that I'm just pulling it off. But it's it's not bad stuff. So I'm gonna just put about three wraps. Now I'm gonna pick everything up. And basically what we're doing here is we're going to make a wing post. I'm going to give it a couple of wraps around that wing post. Just to kind of dry everything together and get it a little bit under control. Got a wild deer hair sticking out back. That's not necessarily bad. I found that the shaggier they are, the better. Now I'm going to cut the hair. I'm going to make a button on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a dubbing loop. Take my dubbing twister. Gonna put some wax on that. And my wax comes like a chapstick form, but this is actually 100% beeswax. Now for the hackle, I have a beige colored CDC in my block. And we pull that out. Now we're going to trim that stem off. going to take my dubbing loop, put the clip in there, slide it off, and when the thread catches the CDC, go ahead and take the dubbing loop off, or the clip off. Give it a twist. There we go. We got a nice hackle here. We're going to wrap it around the wing post. Three. There was a lot of CDC on this, so I'll get four wraps out of this. Then I'm going to secure. I'm holding all of the CDC out of the way. And I'm going to take my poke and snip cuticle trimmer. Oop. Got one, and there's the second. Now I'm 
going to keep all of this up. I just want to move my thread a little bit closer to the wing post. Now I'm going to use a, a little darker of this same Hemingway deer hair dubbing. Remember small amounts. See how fat that came out? I don't like that. I'm going to thin that out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a figure eight around that wing post. Tie the head. Got a little bit in the front there. Now I can whip finish it or use my half hitch tool. A lot of times when you don't want to get hackle, you use that half hitch tool. But this seems to give me enough space that I can use my whip finish. Pull that tight. Go ahead and take that off. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, head cement on the bottom side. Let that soak right in there. Now you can fan that out. I have one that I actually cut. And here's what it looks like. I cut the CDC. You know, pull everything up and cut it. And that's pretty good. But I don't. You know, I'm sure this is going to work with the cut CDC, but I don't like to have them too uniform. So I'm going to just go ahead and break them. But that CDC is what's going to hold it up. Well, and all the deer hair that's on it too. There we go. You can trim it down further if you'd like. Like I said, you can use the scissors if you want. Personally, I would rather just break them. And here we have a CDC Dry Nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors if you'd like to purchase this fly or any others that I'd make. Whether you see it on the site or not, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Gym. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.